Hi kids, welcome to my channel. My name's Lizzie. Are you ready for another story? I'm excited because I used to do ballet and today we are reading Barbie Loves Ballet. <laughs> I love Barbie. I used to play with Barbie when I was little, and I used to take dance. So it's two in one. Are you ready to hear about how Barbie loves ballet? If you need a drink, or if you need to go potty, if you need anything, now is a good time to pause it. Hit the little pause button and play it when you come back. If not, we're getting right into it. <laughs> ready? Barbie loves ballet. Remember to keep your toes pointed said Kelly's dance teacher, Miss Lee. I always used to get in trouble for not pointing my toes. <laughs> Keep your back straight and don't forget to smile. Kelly didn't have to be reminded to smile. She loved everything about ballet. The music, the steps, and especially the spins. I love the spins too. Look at them in class. Aren't they cute? Look at their little tutus. My mom used to let me wear my tutu to school when I was in pre-K. <laughs> Thank you for your hard work today, said Miss Lee at the end of class. And now I have some wonderful news. Next week, we're going to have a recital. A recital is a performance your friends and family watch to see you do the routines you've been practicing in class. I loved recitals until we got up on stage and then I was like, oh, there's people. <laughs> Everyone cheered. Everyone, that is, except Kelly. She didn't feel like cheering at all. There's Miss Lee, the dance teacher. She's pretty. I like her eyeshadow. See it? Isn't it pretty? And there's Kelly. Oh, no. She's like me. I don't want to go in front of people. <laughs> I heard the great news, Kelly, Barbie said when she picked up her little sister after class. Just think, you'll get to perform your ballet routine in front of everyone, and I'll be there too. Miss Lee asked me to help you get, help to, <laughs> oh my goodness, Miss Lee asked me to help you get ready and to perform one of my ballet routines. Won't it be fun? It's <laughs> Barbie all excited and Kelly's like, oh my God, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Good big sister, though. Kelly didn't answer. Is everything all right? Barbie asked. I don't want to be in the recital, Kelly said. Why not? Barbie asked. You love ballet, and you're so good at it. I do love ballet, Kelly agreed, but I don't want to dance in front of all those people. I might mess up or stumble and fall down. It's okay to feel nervous, Barbie said. The best thing you can do is practice, practice, practice. If you'd like, I'll help you. Then you'll be ready for the recital. Thanks, Barbie, Kelly said with a smile. There they are. She's like, I'm scared. I don't want to go in front of those people. And she's like, oh, you got this. We'll practice. We practiced for months and months and months for a recital. Lots of practicing. With Barbie's help, Kelly practiced her ballet routine every day. Good job, Kelly. Remember to hold your chin high and keep your arms straight, Barbie reminded her. Kelly practiced after school and after dinner. You're right, Barbie, Kelly said one night. I've practiced so much that I'm not nervous at all. Good job, Kelly. Look at her. Look at him dancing in the living room. I dance in my living room all the time, do you? Oh, yeah. Dance in your living room right now. Nobody's watching. <laughs> The day before the big recital, Barbie asked, Are you ready to run through your routine one more time? I'm tired of practicing, Kelly said. I think I'll just skip practice today. Remember the old saying, practice makes perfect. I sometimes get tired of practicing too, but when it comes time to perform, I'm always glad I did. Don't you think it would be a good idea to go over your routine once more? Okay, Barbie, agreed Kelly. Let's go over it one more time. <laughs> good big sister. Want to make sure that she does a good job, right? Oh, look at the puppy. Pet him. <laughs> it's cute. That night, Kelly dreamed she was a famous ballerina on stage in front of hundreds of people. Bravo, bravo, 
the audience shouted as she did a beautiful pirouette. I used to dream those dreams. <laughs> I did. And I used to pretend I would dance in my bedroom and pretend there was an audience. Do you do that? You can pretend. It's fun. The big day finally arrived at the big ballet studio. Everyone rushed to get ready. Has anyone seen my ballet shoes? asked Lexi. Can someone comb my hair? asked Chloe. I'm scared, Kelly said as Barbie helped her get dressed. I feel like I have butterflies in my stomach, even after all the practice. Everyone gets butterflies, said Barbie. But after all your hard work, you can go out there knowing you've, you're ready to do your very best. I used to get, I'm getting them right now in my tummy just thinking about my recitals. I was Kelly. I was like, I don't want to. I don't, I don't like it. these feelings in my belly. <laughs> but everybody's nervous. Everybody's freaking out. And all the people in my class also had butterflies in their tummy. So it's normal. It's okay to have butterflies. After Barbie finished helping everyone get into their costumes, she went on stage and danced for the crowd. The audience loved it. Go Barbie, go. Look at them all. Good job, Barbie. Look at her. She looks so pretty. Don't, don't ballerinas always look so pretty with their costumes on and their hair up and when they twirl? Then it was Kelly's turn. She and her class leaped and turned and danced in perfect time to the music. Kelly had practiced so much, she hardly had to think about her routine. Her feet knew just what to do. Yay, they did a good job. Look at them go. Go, Kelly. Go, Kelly. It's your birthday. <laughs> good job, girls. As the dancers ended, ended their routine, the audience jumped to their feet. Bravo, bravo, everyone shouted, just like in Kelly's dream. Backstage, Barbie gave Kelly a big hug. You were great out there, she said to her little sister. All your hard work really paid off. Thanks, Kelly said. You were great too, and thanks for helping me practice. I'm going to keep on working hard so I can be a great ballerina. Barbie smiled. You know what, little sister, she asked. You already are. Aww. When I was, I was a teenager when my little sisters started dancing. So I was Barbie, like teaching Kelly. I was teaching my little sisters. <laughs> that makes my heart beat. That's cute. Ooh, okay, that's the end of it. You want to hear some words that we learned? We'll review the vocabulary. What does bravo mean? Can you guess? Bravo is just another way of saying, yay, good job, whoop, whoop. <laughs> but it's a classy way. You yell bravo instead of whoop. Next time you're at an event, yell bravo and clap. <laughs> curtsy. What's a curtsy? You know how when you go in front of the queen and you have to do that little bow? That's a curtsy. Or at the end of a performance, you do the little bow to the audience. That is known as a curtsy. Pirouette. It's a famous little ballerina twirl, and it looks cool on stage. Plie is when you bend and go back up and have your hands above your head. <laughs> a recital is where you show your routines to your family and friends, and they can see how much you've grown and how good of a dancer you're becoming. What is a routine? A routine, a routine is like going to practice every day at five o'clock until seven o'clock that's your dance routine because you do it every day it's something you do over and over and over and over like practice what is a standing ovation that is when the entire audience stands up out of their seat and is clapping and going crazy that is called a standing ovation and that means you have done such a great job. Now everybody gets a standing ovation, only the special ones. What's a tutu? It, I'll show you what a tutu is. It's easier to show you. Where are you, little tutu? That's a tutu. Well, it's a longer one. Let me show you a shorter one. That's a tutu. The little skirts. 
All right, that's all the vocabulary we learned today. Thanks for reading Barbie Loves Ballet with me. I hope you liked it. I'll see you next time. Be good to your parents. Be good to your teachers. Well, most of you are out of school now, so be good to your parents, your grandparents, your babysitters, your siblings, your cousins, and all other kids around you. But most importantly, be good to yourselves. See you next time. Bye.